Hi, brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining me here on the Alabaster Box. My name is Rosalind. I hope and pray you guys are having a, a blessed day. Um, today, we're going to be reading from the King James Version Bible, Genesis chapter 12, number 1 through 20. If you have a Bible, please read along with me. Other than that, here we go. Genesis 12, chapter 1. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, and to a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse, curseth thee. And in, the, in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abram departed as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. And Abram took Sarai his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their substance that they had gathered, and the souls that, that they had gotten in Haran. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan, and into the land of Canaan they came. And Abram passed through the land unto the place of Sechem, unto the plain of Moriah. And the Canaanites was them then in that land. And the Lord appeared unto Abram and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land. And there builded an altar unto the Lord who appeared unto him. And he removed from thence into a mountain on the east of Bethel and pitched his tent, having Bethel on the west and high on the east. And there he built an altar unto the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. And Abram journeyed going on still toward the south. And there was a famine in the land. And Abram went down into Egypt to sojourn there, for the famine was grievous in the land. And it came to pass when he was come near to enter into Egypt that he said unto Sarai his wife, Behold now, I know that thou art a fair woman to look upon. Therefore it shall come to pass when the Egyptians shall see thee, that they shall say, This is his wife, and they will kill me, but they will save thee alive. Say, I pray thee, thou art my sister that it may be well with me for thy sake and for my soul shall um and for my and my soul shall live because of thee and it came to pass that when abram came unto egypt the egyptians beheld the woman that she was very fair the princes also of pharaoh saw her and commended her before pharaoh and the woman was taken unto the pharaoh's house and he entreated abram well for her sake and he had sheep and oxen and asses and men servant and maid servants, and she asses and camels. And the Lord plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Abram's wife. And Pharaoh called Abram and said, What is this that thou hast done unto me? Why didst thou not tell me that she was thy wife? Why sayest thou she is my sister? So I might have taken her to me to wife. Now therefore behold thy wife take her and go thy way. And Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him, and they sent him and his wife and all that he had. Thank you. Remember, I just read the words as they are written. I do not give my personal interpretation or thoughts on the on what is written. I really appreciate you all joining me today. Um, reading your, stay reading your word if possible. Stay praying, fasting, spending time with the Most High. Remember, He loves you, and I love you guys too. Talk to you soon.